One of the most easily recognized stars in the sky is Betelgeuse, which can be found in the constellation Orion. It is popular among astronomers and stargazers alike due to its vivid red color and prominent location. But Betelgeuse's enigmatic behavior is what makes it so fascinating. Because of its periodic pulsations, which cause it to grow and shrink in size, astronomers refer to it as a variable star. The star's brightness varies as a result of this pulsation, sometimes making it one of the brightest stars in the sky, and other times drastically diminishing it. With a diameter more than a thousand times greater than our sun, Betelgeuse is now real giant. It would completely swallow the inner planets, including Earth, and extend all the way up to Jupiter, if you put it in the center of our solar system. It is a red supergiant star that is nearing the end of its existence, due to its enormous size and mass. The gigantic star is really dying, but since stars die all the time, that is not what has piqued our curiosity. Astronomers have been alarmed by Betelgeuse's dimming. The star experienced an extraordinary dimming event in late 2019 and early 2020, losing a considerable amount of its brightness. Scientists all throughout the world began to speculate and became curious about this. Betelgeuse's fading was explained by a number of ideas, but one stood out and was later shown to be true by the Hubble Space Telescope. Scientists discovered that the star released a large cloud of dust that partially blocked our view of its light based on Hubble's observations. The star has not cycled again since February 2020, when it last faded. What we do know is that the star's surface is now bouncing like gelatin on a plate, and that it no longer has the natural 400-day heartbeat that it had for at least two centuries as it recovered from blasting out a significant portion of its interior in late 2019, an event that became known as the Great Dimming. Yes, Betelgeuse is still behaving in an odd manner, and in the future, it will finally run out of fuel and explode in a magnificent supernova. Though, only a group of scientists are certain of the exact timing of that. They further claim that the explosion could occur at any moment, while you are viewing this video, or very soon. You are watching Call of the Cosmos. Astronomers had to guess the next nearby star to go supernova in the Milky Way, their bets might go to Betelgeuse. The bright red supergiant star that marks Orion's shoulder is nearing the end of its life, and it's less than 1,000 light years from Earth. But how close is it to going supernova? And will we be around to see it? Typically, astronomers suggest it might explode within the next 100,000 years, that is soon, on a cosmic time frame. And that is kind of disappointing. However, our calculations may have been off, and the spectacle could unfold in front of our naked eyes any time. A new study by Hideyuki Seo and his colleagues of the Tohoku University in Japan claim that the star might be further along in its evolution, and that much closer to exploding than we thought. But how are they claiming this? It's the star's pulsations. You see, Betelgeuse is unstable, breathing in and out regularly, with overlapping overtones. Following its brightness over the past century, astronomers have noted changes over periods of 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Usually, astronomers treat the 420 day up and down as the primary and on doubt pulsation with the shorter cycles as overtones. The 2,200-day or six-year period isn't generally considered part of these ins and outs, and is instead dubbed a long secondary period, a feature of unknown origin common to one-third of supergiant stars. If the 420-day period is the primary one, then Betelgeuse would have the span of 800 to 900 suns lined up in a row. Placed in the solar system, it would almost reach the orbit of Jupiter. 
Sayo and colleagues, however, think that might be an underestimate. If the 2200 day cycle is the primary one, and all the rest are overtones, then the star would be even more super giant, spanning 1200 suns, even wider than Jupiter's orbit. In line with its larger size, the star would be even further along in its life cycle. Stars like Betelgeuse live fast and large. Like the Sun, they first light up by fusing hydrogen into helium within their cores, but they quickly move on to helium, fusing it into carbon. Carbon then burns to make other, heavier elements. Around the core, lighter elements burn in shells, causing the star to billow outward like a hot plasma balloon. Seo and his colleagues use computer simulations to watch stars evolve from birth to old age, then they calculate the pulsations they ought to see at each stage. They find that all four pulsations, from the 2200-day cycle through the 185-day cycle, can be explained by a breathing star in the late stages of carbon burning. After carbon is exhausted in the core, a core collapse leading to a supernova explosion is expected in a few tens years, the researchers write. But when will the carbon run out? It's hard to tell, because the pulsation periods don't change much at this late stage. It's not possible to exactly estimate how much carbon is left in the core at present, Seo says. We just guess the time to the carbon exhaustion is probably less than a few hundred years. So, to put some headlines in perspective, Sayo's group isn't saying Betelgeuse will blow tomorrow or even in the next decade. The researcher's claim is that Betelgeuse would blow within 1,000 years, rather than 10,000 or 100,000. The 2,200-day pulsation, if radial, creates other problems too. Spectroscopic measurements show that the star's surface expands and contracts at some 1.5 km per second or 3,300 miles per hour. If the star is breathing at this rate over the span of 2,200 days, its total diameter would be changing by 180 times the sun's size every cycle. Even for astronomers, that's a lot. What's more, the 2200-day pulsation would also affect the pulsation of the overtones. So, for example, the 400-day cycle wouldn't always be 400 days. When the star puffs out to its full size, this overtone would lengthen. Likewise, when the star shrinks, it would shorten. These changes would be expected to repeat systematically every 2200-day cycle, McLeod says, and I don't think we see evidence for that in Betelgeuse's long-term light curve, which varies more randomly around the 400-day typical cycle. Now for those unaware, when a star runs out of hydrogen, then helium starts to burn into carbon, which causes swelling in a star. As all the fuel is burned out, and the remaining elements do not form fuel, against their own weight, the core collapses to form a solid neutron star which the inrush of surrounding gas rebounds against to form a supernova. It is a red superstar with an age of at least 8 million years. It is believed to be in the last stages of its life cycle, having burned through the hydrogen in its core. So will we be able to watch the Betelgeuse explosion? If we could live for another couple of thousand years, then yes. What a spectacle it would be to behold, right? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Call of the Cosmos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon. You are watching Call of the Cosmos.